Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing some of this um, shell page. This is from the um, Johanna Basford 2021 Weekly Planner and uh, I thought I would just sort of get started with it and just show you what I'm going to do with the page to give you maybe a few ideas. So the background first, I've decided that I'm going to do a watery background. Um, so I'm going to start with that right now actually. Um, I'm going to use, I'm using my Castle Art pencils just trying to find where the camera is and so I'm going to start with this lighter blue colour that I've got where are we we're here and what I'm going to do is surround each shell with a light layer of this I'm just going to do a little bit just to show you um, what I'm going to do I'm using this is my botanical set of castle arts um, so I don't know how um, how well it setup it is for using with them shells but I'm sure we can uh, manage. Now because a lot of shells have a lot of white in, I've just been um, having a look at photos of them online, um, I thought it would be a good idea to do a background because then if I do leave white um, it will show up a little bit more or even sort of pale colours and things like that. So this is my sort of watery background idea but to make it a little more interesting, I'll just show you um, what I'm going to do. Um, we'll just take it out a little bit from the edge of the uh, of this shell. You can see I'm doing it quite rough, but these are nice and soft. They uh, make a nice background, actually. So that's that. And what I'm going to do... <clears throat> excuse me is use my try and get it in shot fallow green light as well over the top to give a more sea greeny bluey colour I'm doing it quite lightly I don't want it to be really green I just want to darken it up a little bit and then you can choose what you do with the water you can put little bubbles in it um, or you can put little splashes in it or you can leave it as it is. Um, the bubbles and splashes I would do with a white gel pen and I'll show you that in a bit. I'll do the um, shell first to show you. Now as I say I've got various shell pictures. There are some beautiful pearlescent ones but I don't have um, I don't know how to do those. I don't know how well you could do a pearlescent effect with pencils. So I'm going to go more for a brown. Um, I'm going to grab this one. This is the um, raw umber and uh, do some brown markings on the shell. We're going to concentrate on this shell because uh, I'm just going to move my camera and my book slightly. Sorry, the book's hanging off the table, making it really hard for me to colour it. Now, this is obviously a fictional shell, so I can't copy a picture exactly. So what I'm going to do is just have a go myself and thinking about what I might, how I might make it look. So I'm putting more colour on the edges and then going to fade it a little bit towards the middle of the shell. I'm going to do that on all parts. This has got these little tiny lines. I'm going to ignore those and just um, put the colour on top just because it's slightly simpler. Inside the shell we'll do something a little bit different. Um, now we could ignore the pattern or we could go for the pattern. What I'm going to do is ignore the pattern to start with and then I may go over it after. So I'm going to continue with what I've been doing, putting more layers on the edge and I'm fading it down towards the middle. I'm just going to do that over the whole of the shell to start with and then I'll think about what I'm going to do with regards to the pattern. I'm really going to emphasise the edge with quite a hard layer and just keep adding up layers until you're happy with the contrast that you get. It's quite brown, isn't it? 
Hmm, I think sometimes they're a little bit more orangey. I probably picked perhaps a dark a brand that's a little bit dark. But anyway, it's it is what it is. Um I haven't really got like an orangey colour that isn't cadmium orange, which is so bright, you know, this this orange is not really gonna be the right one. So uh, inside the shell, I want to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna grab my golden yellow and just do a little layer of that inside. I'm thinking it might be white towards the center so I'm going to push more color around that outside and sort of leave that center bit a little bit empty but I am going to put a little bit of color on this circles so I'm going to grab, sorry I'm reaching across the camera, terracotta light just to do these circles. Now I'm not going to use a any particular technique I'm just going to colour across them like that now for this main shell I might grab oops, my darkest brown which is the burnt umber just do a few little highlights here and there so I'm actually going to put a little bit more colour here to emphasise that I want that darker and here just that tiny bit it can make quite a difference to how three-dimensional it looks and then hmm, under here I think there might be a bit of shadow I'm gonna assume that's a bit of the top now as we go across here the, sh the background is lighter so we don't want to make this shadow so dark there we go now I think what I'm going to do is each of these little square areas I'm just going to make them a bit darker as if this sort of grid pattern is raised above I think we'll just do that that would be fun so this really is just a fictional shell and as I say I look some up and I'm just not I'm just not um, up for copying any of those so I just thought I would just go for it now what you could do with the rest of the shells on the page is you could stick to the colour scheme that you've used for this one so you've got a consistent um, pattern across them all, that's what I'll probably do can't say for sure but, and so you could do that or you could um, do each one different so you could do some bright colours, some dull colours, all sorts of different things so uh, it's up to you really what you think might work and what you might like to do. I'm not staying in the lines very well as always. I'm going to do a similar thing down here with these little bits. My lead is really wobbly in my pencil. I noticed it last time I, I sharpened it, the lead wasn't very good. But I uh, persevere with it. I don't know if you can see that it's wobbling just going to finish this bit and then we'll get back to the water so I will show you what I'm planning on doing um, this is uh, a number 10 um, Sakura white gel pen what I'm going to do is put lots of splashes and I'm going to make lines as well as dots between the water and the shell and I want it to look like the shell is sort of standing just out from the water a little bit I don't know how well that is actually showing up on the blue. It's showing up quite well on the brown of the shell. I'm wondering whether I need to take that background a little bit darker. Actually, what I'm going to do before I finish, I'm going to grab my, um, not that. Uh, where is it? There. My Caran d'Ache pencil blender. I'm just going to sharpen it. I can find a sharpener, it's right in front of my nose. And I'm going to blend this background just on this bit where I haven't done any white to sort of burnish it down a bit. I could probably be better off using a burnisher to be honest. And see whether the white pen shows up better on that. If it does, I'll burnish the whole thing. The Once this white's dry, it will chip off um, with the pencil. Now that's dried up because it's been sitting without a lid on. 
that's better that shows up much better so that's the key to this look is to blend or burnish that um, background if you don't have a blending pencil you can blend with your with you can just put more layers of color down on the page or use a white there we go so that's our shell in the water so wait I will do the rest of the page I will probably will use the same color scheme I just got to write it down and make sure I remember it well I can rewatch my video can't I so uh, there we go so when I finish this page I will pop it onto um, Instagram I try to put a photo up on a Monday of the completed page um, from the planner um, so that you can have a look at it and then of course you can decide whether you like the look of it and whether it's something that you want to copy or whether you think uh, I do, do it my own way so there we go well thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, happy colouring <laughs>